Hi guys, welcome to the J Festival Art YouTube channel. I have so much to tell you. It was just one insane day, it really really was. For those of you who may know, but for those who don't, I went to, um, this weekend just gone, I went to the LFCC, which is basically London Film and Comic Con. And also, because some of you may also know that I have, was lucky enough to get uh, a diamond pass to meet Peter Capaldi. So basically the day started um, that to get there, I got there really really early, super duper early, for about half past five in the morning, managed to get uh, catch the seven o'clock train, got into London and I got in the building, literally got in there about half nine. I wasn't expecting to be in that really early. See, seeing that is that I had fudge loads of time, I thought I'd go straight up to where the autographs we get the autographs and stuff like that. I managed to get up there and I thought I'd go and find where Peter Capaldi's table was. I managed to find it and um, looked about to see who he's next to. He's next. Unfortunately Peter Capaldi wasn't there because he was literally on his way to his photo shoot. Now I know where he is, I might as well start on the people that I need to get autographs with. So I firstly started with David Bradley. While I was queuing, <laughs> uh, I literally just looked to the right I saw a couple of security, literally saw a security guard and a very familiar guy with silver grey hair and realised it was Peter Capaldi. <laughs> and yeah, as soon as I saw him, that's when the butterflies started to kick in, that's when the realisation started to hit me like, oh crap, I'm going to be meeting that guy later on. So that sort of like, got me going. <laughs> yeah, so... I was waiting to, to meet David Bradley and uh, unfortunately I couldn't take any photos but I weren't allowed any photos because he was sort of like in a, in a little bit of a rush to get everyone everyone in the autograph done so he could meet people basically. I did however took a sneaky video of me meeting him. So instead of me explaining to you how it goes, here is the video shot. Enjoy. Okay. Hello, you alright? Oh wow! Yeah. Did you want your snacks? Oh, okay, you're smiling. Did you do that? I did, yeah. Very good. You've got my, you've got my three chins as well. Sorry. <laughs> no, I don't want to be airbrushed. It's too late for that. No, but but very nice. Very Thank good. You. So just uh, sign it. Uh, uh, yes, please. Uh, to, to, to Jenny. Yeah. Can I, well, I don't want to deface myself, so can I? Yeah, it's all right. Thank you. Well. Thank you. Yeah, oh, thanks for watching. Thank, Thank you very much. All the best. You too. Yeah, there we go. That happened. <laughs> Next up was uh, Pearl Mackey. Couldn't take any photos. There was a security guard there for a reason, so apologies, but I didn't take the selfie or anything with her. Then, um, while I was waiting to meet Pearl Mackey, um, Another, another guest just literally just turned up on his table and uh, it was Richard Wilson. <laughs> For those who don't know who Richard Wilson is, he's basically um, Gaius from Merlin. He's one foot in the grave guy as well, with famous quotes, I don't believe it. Uh, basically showed him a book and she's like, oh that's really really cool, that's, did, you, did you draw that? I said yeah I did. And I, I said to her, I also got these um, prints here for, for you and she literally just one looked at him and she's like, oh yeah I remember, I remember seeing them online. Oh, they're my favourites, they're so cool, I love them so much. I was like, oh, these are a gift to you. She's like, they're for me. I went, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're for you. She's like, oh, thank you so much. She's like, oh, I love them, thank you. And I can tell that she wanted to hug me, but something pulled her back sort of way, you know, like she wanted to hug me, but she wasn't too sure whether I wanted it or not. Of course I wanted it, but I didn't know whether she wanted it as well. So <laughs> she grabbed my hand with both of her hands and just, shook it like that and just thank you so much for, I love them so much thank you I love the outfit by the way I said oh thank you it's a bit, a bit warm though she's like yeah it's, I 
I'm going, but oh, it's a bit hot, isn't it? I said, yeah. I said, I don't know how Peter does it. I don't know how Capaldi does it. Especially in the episode Smile, you know, where he's in those four layers and you're just in your best. And she's like, oh, mate, no, I, I was still boiling that day. But Pete, bless him, I don't know how he managed it in all those layers. <laughs> she's so lovely. So, so lovely. If you want to meet Pearl Mackey, do it. She's great. So yeah, the next person on my list to meet was uh, Ingrid Oliver, aka Osgood. She was absolutely lovely as well. She loved to join in the TARDIS book and um, she asked if she can click through. I said, yeah, 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 go for it, you know. And I didn't mind having photos taken at all, so I had a selfie with her. Here's the photo. I was just walking about. I was basically seeing who, who else was there and who I could find and that and see if Pete Capelli's back on his table. All I saw, right, is this guy in a pink, like a pink polo shirt sort of thing. And it was a, it was a security guard as well. And um, I literally looked up and didn't realise who it was until he walked past me. It was Christopher Eccleston. <laughs> oh, Christ I nearly bumped into Christopher Eccleston because all I saw was a pink polo shirt. I mean, I looked up and then he walked past and I was just like, Oh, well, that was Christopher Eccleston. <laughs> I mean, went to the panel talk with Peter Capaldi. Absolutely brilliant. He was lovely, bless him. All the questions. I was just basically walking about, you know, and I was trying to find these other guests. I was trying to find David Tennant's table and Christopher Eccleston's table. I uh, found Christopher Eccleston's table. I was planning to go and see him until I saw that massive big queue. <laughs> uh, then I caught up with a friend, uh, Tate. Who, who, if you're watching tape, hello. And uh, I asked her, you know, what, what, do you know where the David Tennant t uh, autograph table is? Because Bangor Clare is. She said, oh yeah, it's just around the corner. But uh, when I got, when I saw the queue, there was still, the queue was quite surprisingly small actually at the time. So, and David Tennant was at a photo shoot. And the queuing number on it so far was 125. And I was just like, oh, fuck it, I've got a long way to go. There's no chance I'm going to be able to meet him. I was like near near the entrance of the booth, we were just like talking to the stewardess and we're like, oh wait, like, hold hold on, can, can you just like move away for a second? And we're like, oh okay, sure. And we heard this and we heard this little woo cheers and all of that. And I literally turned around and there was David Tennant. And I was just like, I literally said without thinking, I went, oh hello. <laughs> I thought, well I don't have to meet him, I just saw him, so <laughs> I'm sorted, yeah. Yeah, time was getting on and uh, I had to go to this Pick a parody shoot, otherwise I'm just going to miss it. And then I found the photo, fo the photo book where the parody was, and of all the people, Stephen Moffat walked past me. <laughs> no, I kid you not. There's me wearing my Top Doctor outfit, velvet outfit, and Stephen Moffat was just, just, just there, walking past me, and just literally took one look at me, like, like sort of like a judging look sort of thing, and I just looked at him like, hi. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the Capaldi shoot sadly went too quick. It was great. It was so great. I mean, I was sort of like the fourth one there, and Capaldi was there, all smiling and happy. He's like, "Hi, how you doing?" It's all oh, fine, thanks. And he just put his arm around me. I put my arm around him. We both did the pose. There was one thing that I didn't get out of my diamond pass, and that was Capaldi's autograph. I've been up and down that store all flipping day <laughs> trying to get this guy's autograph and I was waiting there and time was getting on because I had the Pearl Mackey shoot as well so I literally said to the stewardess you know can I quickly go to the photo shoot because she said go to photo shoot now you're safe with your diamond pass you know just go go now before you before you mess it so I literally zoomed <laughs> to a photo shoot so, so there was I with my, with, with my, with my photo ticket I was just like I, I got, I got a photo with Pearl Mackey. She's like, you got a photo with Pearl Mackey? I went, yeah. She's like, get in now. She's like, go, go, go. The photographer saw me. He's like, you're alright. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm here with Pearl Mackey. He's like, oh, I don't want it. To, to, calm down, calm down. He's like, you, you've got loads of time. You're fine. You're absolutely fine. She's just having a little bit break right now. But anyway, uh, Pearl saw me. She's like, hey, you made it. And I put, I put her arm around me. I and mean, we didn't know which pose to do. And I was like, should we do, can we do the hand points pose? She's like, yeah, go. <laughs> we did the hand point pose. Joined the queue, 
luckily the cube was still stuck, it was still there, he was still going through a lot of diamond, a lot of gold passes and stuff. The stu one of the stewardesses got on the chair, stood up, he's like, right, pay attention because I've got some good news for you. I'm like, okay. We're all like huddled up and sort of like listen closely at that. He's like, and he said, Pierre Capaldi has agreed that he will see every single diamond pass here today. All of us, I kid you not, we're like, oh, thank goodness. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> finally queued up and um, finally met him. Gave him, gave him a drawing. I also had a, 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 a other couple of drawings to give him as a gift as well. Um, and he saw, saw the saw that drawing and he was like, oh, this is, this is really good. Oh, well done. This is... He was signing away. And um, I said to him, uh, I don't know if you remember, but a couple of years ago, me and my friend Alex, we came together and did an art collaboration video. He, and I said to him, um, uh, we did that for, for your birthday a couple of years ago. And then like last year, you sent us a, a video response. And he was like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah, I remember you now, yeah, I remember that video, yeah. And I said to him, uh, we thank you, we both thank you so much for that video. He's like, oh no, that's absolutely fine. And I said, he was basically explaining himself why it took so long to do videos. He said, yeah, it's just finding the time to do those videos because I just wasn't expecting you to do it for us, so thank you so much. He said, it's absolutely fine, and thank you for the video and for, for the drawings as well. I said, that's, that's fine. <laughs> and he, he also said, give my best to Alex. And I said, I will, thank you so much. And he said goodbye, shook his hand, walked away with a great big grin on my face. <laughs> just, oh, I was just so, just so happy that I finally got his all off. A perfect way to end the day, really. How cool is that? That's going to be framed. So, overall, a really crazy but awesome day. That was my insane day. So, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I will see you whenever. See you soon. Bye.